going on guys? Nick Desso Poker here. Thank you for tuning in for this week's episode. And this one, we're going over the always hated pair, Pocket Jacks. How do we play them? Everybody thinks that this is the hardest pair to play. And don't get me wrong, it is difficult, but there is a good way to play them and a bad way to play them. And I'm gonna teach you how to play Pocket Jacks. So let's get into this. All right guys, we're gonna go over how to play Pocket Jacks, how to play these bad boys. Everybody tells me this is the hardest hand to play, the hardest pocket pair to play in the deck. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you it's nonsense. I know exactly how to play these guys and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. So I ask two things of you. One, go ahead and smash this video with a like so that we can go ahead and get this out to more people. And two, throw out all of the knowledge that you know about this hand right here and go ahead and listen to me so I can fill everything up for you as far as what you're missing, all right? so. First things first, the biggest mistake that I see all the time with people playing pocket jacks is they overplay them. They play them like they're pocket aces and that's never the answer because guess what? They're not pocket aces. Whoa, I know, that's pretty surprising to say. No, they are not pocket aces, so don't play them as such, okay? Also, don't put too many chips into the pot pre-flop, okay? So, for example, there's gonna be a lot of hands where you're gonna be, you know, not dominated by because you have a good hand, but you might be in trouble in a later street, aka the flop, okay? So, what you wanna make sure is that you're not going too crazy with it, okay? So, for example, okay, you're not gonna four bet very often with jacks. Okay, it's gonna be a pretty low frequency. You're talking maybe 10% of the time you're gonna fruit through four bet with them. Okay, three betting, absolutely. Three bet all the time. Jacks are a great hand to three bet with, especially in position. So, you know, you can go crazy in that aspect, but we're not gonna be going four bets. We're not gonna be throwing in, you know, six X three bets, anything like that. Keep it reasonable and it's gonna fare better for you, okay? There are very small situations where you're gonna four bet. Also, calling four bets, um, you're not going to typically jam after a four bet. Okay, what is an opponent saying when they have a four bet? They're saying, I got a great hand. I got aces, I got ace king, I got kings, I got queens. That's what they're telling you. Maybe jacks, you know, who knows? But that's what they're telling you. Okay, so you're not gonna typically come over the top and five bet or five bet jam or anything like that. You're either gonna fold or you're gonna call. And you know, sometimes you're gonna fold and sometimes you're gonna call. It really just depends. But the one thing that you need to understand when you have jacks is that if you're calling a four bet, a lot of times you're gonna be set mining because they may have you beat, they may have queens, they may have kings, aces, okay? And at the very at the very best, they're gonna have like ace king, maybe ace queen suited, okay? So that's the thing to keep in mind with this hand. So if you don't hit your flop, a lot of times you're just gonna have to fold them away, okay? Then post flop, okay? The biggest thing is understanding position. Position is everything, and I'm gonna make a whole separate video on position. But keep in mind, okay, let's say, you know, you called a raise or you three bet, they called, anything like that, and you're out of position. If an ace comes, this, uh, what are an over card of any kind, queen, king, or ace, um, you're gonna wanna check call there. You're gonna be in check call mode. You're not gonna wanna bet out. It doesn't make sense to bet out when your opponent could easily have you beat on the flop. So you're gonna check, you're gonna call, Pretty much any sizing, I mean, even up to a full pot size bet, you're probably gonna call and then see a later street, okay? If you're in position, they check. A lot of times, you might throw out a continuation bet there. You know, they may have missed the flop. They may, you know, if an ace is there, they may have had king, queen, and they missed. So, you know, throwing out a 25%, you know, quarter pot bet or third pot size bet, a lot of times that makes sense. Sometimes you might check, you know, you gotta keep your frequency on that kind of, you gotta keep balance. So sometimes you're gonna check back, sometimes you're gonna throw out a continuation bet, um, really just depends. And like the old guys say, see where you're at. So sometimes you'll do that, okay? Then you come on to the turn. Okay, let's say it was a check check situation, okay? And a turn brings a good card for you as something lower than a queen. Well, you know, a lot of times if you're out of position, you're still gonna check, okay? And you're gonna call a decent size bet because you know if you didn't have to call a bet on the flop well now it's not going to be a huge price to see the river so that's a lot of times what you're going to do the biggest thing with jacks is if there are over cards you want to see the river as cheaply as possible and show and basically to show down as cheaply as possible so that's the name of the game keeping the pot size small a little bit of that small ball poker strategy in order to not get burned with jacks now if there are no over cards 
okay? And you're just playing it as normal. Now this hand has more value. So now you can play a little bit more aggressive with it. Okay, now, you know, if you're out of position, now maybe you're out of position, throw out a continuation bet. Or maybe check if they bet, now you can maybe raise or something like that, you know, play it a little tricky, tricky, check, check, raise, you know. Um, turn comes, you know, maybe you can put out some uh, bigger size. Maybe you put out a 66, you know, percent, two thirds pot bet. Or maybe you call a two thirds pot size bet. You, you, but if there's no over cards, then you can play as more aggressively. So bottom line is play it tranquilo, don't overplay them and you're gonna be okay. Try to keep the pot size smaller when unless you have the nuts. So maybe you flop a set, well play it, play it stronger, get the pot brewing. But if you just have jacks, don't overplay it. And that's the biggest thing that I can say. I'll say it again, I've said it like five times, don't overplay jacks. Play them for what they are. They're the fourth best hand in holding. Play them as such. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Please go ahead and smash it with a like and subscribe so that we can get more content out to you. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.